I want to share with you guys the things that I have crocheted so far. Drop your worries, pick up on this fine stream of love we're riding on. Don't believe those silly rumors. Life is a chore. I haven't checked my emails for about two days so I need to catch up on that and I also have some admin stuff to settle I am bringing out my yarn bean again because I want to make punch needle coaster today Oh, sorry. I've made a few in the past but I kind of stopped and got more interested in crocheting instead but I'm gonna get back into it because I have a few designs in mind that I want to make. I've made a few of them in the past but I gave some of it away. These two other ones that I'm keeping for myself, I made this little teddy bear. I actually made three of this and I gave another two to my niece and nephew. This is actually a punch needle version of a logo that I designed. I was really proud of how this logo turned out. I initially created this because I wanted to start a small business selling handmade stuff. But starting a small business really requires a lot of dedication, efforts, and your time. So I don't think I'm gonna do it anytime soon just because I have other priorities now. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it as my hobbies. I'm gonna finish this up today as well. I'm gonna go in with the weight now and I also went ahead and finished this up I'm not sure why I've been putting it off because it literally just took me less than five minutes the smell is a little crooked but it's okay Don't buy this thing, okay? <laughs> I went ahead and sew a piece of felt to the back just to make it a little bit more cleaner. So much lint. They are pretty much done now but I want to trim this to make it a little bit more fluffy. As you can see, the yarns are in loop, which is the texture you get from punch needle. But I'm gonna trim this to get the texture that's kind of similar to tufting. When you're young, you don't think about how good things have a bad side. Can you guys tell the difference? I was just gonna trim one of this but it turned out so cute that I ended up trimming this teddy bear that I made long time ago as well and I think it just made it more interesting so cute
My room is once again in a mess. I'm always dreading to clean it, but not today because I have a little helper here with me and it's the Robo Vacuum from Robo Rock. You guys know I'm always doing arts and crafts in my room and every time when I'm done, there will be this huge mess on the floor, exactly like what just happened. Even on days I'm not doing anything in particular, there will be strands of hair scattered around my bedroom floor, but it's just inevitable when you have long hair. This little guy from Roborock has just made my life so much easier recently because it just makes the whole cleaning process a lot less stressful. The one that I have here is called the Roborock S7 in white. It does not only vacuum well, it also mops really well as it uses this powerful vibration that mimics floor scrubbing and it scrubs up to 3000 times in a minute. It's crazy and it's the one and only Robovac in the market that offers the deepest cleaning. This little guy is able to vacuum and mop all in a single clean but one thing I really like about it is that it's able to lift itself up whenever it detects a carpet which is really helpful to me because I have a few carpets in my room. So how it works is that whenever it detects a carpet, the mop part of the robot will lift itself up in order to avoid wetting it. It's so smart that I don't have to worry about it getting my carpet wet or getting stuck on it. I can just let it do its thing while I do mine. The bristle of this vacuum is also really special. It's replaced with an all rubber one which is different from the ones that I've seen in the market. It's more durable and it's even better at avoiding hair tangles. This little helper retails at 4599 but you can get it for 50% off on this upcoming 7th of July sale. There will also be a flash sale on that day with a further discount to where you're able to get it at 2099 So definitely mark it down on your calendar because you wouldn't want to miss out this huge deal. I will have all the links and information down below for you guys to check out. I'm gonna be making kimchi jjigae with this ingredients today. Really simple. Um, yeah. <laughs> my bed and scrolling through crochet tiktok for the past 30 minutes good and i also created a pinterest board for the things that i want to attempt to make ding, 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 ding. this coaster is so cute i want it but the yarns that i bought are not in pastel series um yeah they're not really that cute i want to share with you guys the things that i have crocheted so far this is everything that i've made over the past two months just because i've been seeing this kind of video popping out in my recommendation and i want to do my own little version as well even though there's not really that much <laughs> i made all of this using just some really basic stitches so yeah, I'm gonna go in chronological order and this is the first thing that I have ever made. If you have seen my previous vlog, you would have probably remembered this because I made such a big deal out of <laughs> The yarn that I use for this is slightly thicker than the regular ones. I'm not sure what's the name of it, but I don't know if you can tell. The thick yarn makes it really sturdy and I like the shape of this bag. The checkered board print has made its comeback this year and I really like it so um, I made another bag in this checkered print, but it's in green instead. I followed a tutorial from Chenda DIY on YouTube and 
think I would like it more if the straps are a bit longer but it's still cute I also added a zipper to it <laughs> the next thing I made is this cardigan this is my first ever clothing pieces I talked so much about it in my previous vlog so I'm gonna skip it the next thing I made it's a bit random it's a little broccoli girl I was gonna add googly eyes to it but I don't have any at my house so I need to place an order for that but I just kept procrastinating the next two things are coasters and they both have tulips element to it because I love tulips for the tulips it's actually just a single popcorn stitch so it's really easy to make it might look a little confusing but it's actually really quick and simple so if you are a beginner like me you can totally do this and this coaster is so cute I added wire inside the stem which is the reason why it's able to stand up so it also doubles as a phone stand <laughs> The last thing that I want to show you, which is also the one that I'm currently working on, is this one right here. I'm not gonna tell you what this is yet, but let me know what you think this is. I wanna see if you guys can guess it right because it looks a little weird, but I will reveal it to you guys once I'm done with it, probably in the next vlog. This is a little hint. One thing that I've realized after having all of them in one place is that um, I need to stop using this color scheme and try out something new. <laughs> what do you guys think about my pajamas? <laughs> this pajama shorts is so cute. My mom got this set for me. I'm wearing a hairband that doesn't match my pajamas at all. But who cares? This thing is 300 calories. Drop your worries, pick up on this fine stream of love with me.